All right, Shotguns fans, we're going to watch some 1950s exploitation. This one's called Poor White Trash. Let's watch. In the swamp I live, in the swamp I die, for poor I trust no one will cry. That's Marie, and she's meeting Martin for the first time. Are you okay? A Yankee from up north. Oh, okay. Next time you come to my crab life, you'll be more okay. That's Peter well, Graves. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about it. He's there to help design a building. Oh, it's been a nice visit. Now, wait a minute, Martin. Or at least submit no, his proposal to do so. Don't my nose. I got the job no matter who does the design. Either you or Murphy, but I'll level with you. You gotta put up a fight for it. I'm nobody. This is Tim Carey. He huh? plays Ulysses. There's only one girl now. It's Maria, your daughter. He wants Maria. No. But Ulysses is kind of a local thug. They have family. Maybe it's better you go to the carnival tomorrow with Ulysses. Ulysses owns a store, though, and... You take my credit away. Want me to... This is uh, Ulysses spying on Maria changing one night. Because he's a perv, too. When she reviews, refuses his advances, he attacks her. She runs off, and then the chase is on. Eventually she collapses in the mud and uh, Ulysses catches up to her. It's sort of implied that he may have assaulted her here, but we don't see anything. We don't know for sure. Someone like myself decides to translate it into concrete and steel and make it real. Now, do you want the assignment or don't you? Certainly, I want it, but... All right, then stop this holier-than-thou remoulade and start thinking of ways to convince Evans. What are you doing for it? You what? He signs him up for this the race, program. this hey, rowing race. Today. I vented you in. You're out of your mind. To try to impress some of the people there. Just like the sculling you did in college. A lot of northern boys have done it before. Meanwhile, she comes oh, to pay her father's money. bill to Ulysses. Here's your money. Sign this piece of paper. Oh, baby, you don't owe me nothing, baby. Anyway, Ulysses refuses the money, and then when her back is turned, this chick steals Marie's money. But Martin to the rescue. Well, they become a little bit of an item then. And when Ulysses finds out, he gets pissed. Anyway, Martin does compete in the race, and of course Ulysses does as well. But ultimately Ulysses ends up winning. But Martin did have a good showing. Passed over, over now. An architect on how well he fishes or paddles a boat. I think anybody who'd sweat out months of creative effort on a design and doesn't have the guts to fight for his guts. Cajun got it out all night. Papa, we only talked. Never had to wait for a boat. Talk to the there. You go back to Big City. Leave my daughter alone. Wait for her. Goodbye, Marie. Ulysses you, 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 threatens you him too. You that Yankee out there. I'm going to get rid of Marie. Mm -hmm. And 
movie since I'm 12. seen the townspeople go to this guy's house in the middle of the night because apparently he just got married. And then in the middle of the night the bride and groom come out and next thing you know there's a party. I guess this is designed to show us Cajun life in 1957. Marie is there. Ulysses is also there, and he has one of the strangest dances I've ever seen on film before. There he goes. Ulysses, of course, gets jealous again, and he gives uh, Marie's father a push. I killed myself. Me! 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 What you thought this thing for? You stay out of there! And then a hurricane comes. Marie, am I a coward? Do you think I'm a coward? What happens if I fight Ulysses? What happens if I beat him? What does it prove? That I'm bigger, meaner, tougher, uglier, stronger? No. And that night, interplayed with uh, some storm footage, Marie and Martin consummate their new relationship. He's got big plans now. I love you, Marie. I want to marry you. Will you marry me, Marie? The next day, a bunch of people are deceased from the hurricane. I don't know exactly what happened to her father, but Papa is no more. One of many bodies sitting out on the dock here. Ulysses is still Take upset. Your hand off her. Of course, this leads to a knockdown drag out fight in the cemetery at Papa's funeral. At one point, he pulled out a hatchet. Did Ulysses. And when he collapsed to the ground, he actually fell on his own hatchet. And presumably, Marie and Martin live happily ever after. We never find out if Martin ever got that architect job, though. Alright, let's talk about Poor White Trash. This is a movie that came out in 1957 under the title of Bayou. Uh, um, and then it was repackaged a couple years later. They added some, like, extra sexy scenes in it and retitled it Poor White Trash. Now, when it came out as Poor White Trash... Um, it played on the drive-in circuit, and apparently it was an incredibly big hit, and played for like 11 years through drive-ins. It was so popular, they even made a sequel to it in 1974-ish or so, called Scum of the Earth, or otherwise known as Poor White Trash 2, which I have not seen. There was also a movie in the 2000s called Poor White Trash, although it doesn't seem to have any uh, relation to this one whatsoever. So, anyway, this is a movie that I s had on an EP Speed VHS tape in the late 80s. Uh, my fellow schlockmeister Jeff actually rented this, copied it, and made 
made a copy of it for me. I watched it for the first time in the early 90, mid 90s or about maybe. I don't remember much about it except the opening theme song, you know, poor white trash, not a nickel in my jeans, um, which was kind of catchy. I ended up putting that song on a tape because I kind of enjoyed it. So anyway, the movie itself, it's black and white. It's about Peter Graves. He's this architect from New York or somewhere up, up north. He's a Yankee and he's going down to the south, uh, Louisiana swamps, I believe this is taking place. And, um, he's, uh, uh going to try to build a, uh, or, or put in, put into perhaps bid on this, or he, he wants to design a building in New Orleans or something like that. And he's one of several people who are up for the potential job. So he comes down there. While he's down there, he meets this girl, Marie, and he also meets this guy, um, Ulysses, who's played by Tim Carey. And uh, Ulysses is the local guy who uh, wants Marie, but he's kind of a loudmouth, jackass, violent type guy, and Marie wants nothing to do with him. So, of course, when uh, Peter Graves... Uh, who plays Martin and Marie, uh, they kind of hit it off. And, of course, uh, uh, Ulysses is jealous. Then, ultimately, it leads to a big fight at the end, in which uh, Martin wins. And um, uh, Martin and Marie supposedly live a happily ever after. Who knows? But I didn't see Scum of the Earth, but I don't think they had the same characters in that movie. So, anyway, the movie itself, you know what? I, I enjoyed this movie, and I probably enjoyed it more than I should have. Um, I don't know why. There was just something about it that intrigued me and kept me going. Now, Timothy Carey, who played um, Ulysses, he's an interesting guy. I remember him from the movie Mermaids of Tiburon, where he played an equally obnoxious asshole-type guy. Um, apparently, that was his real-life persona, too. There's all kinds of stories, if you read on IMDb, about him, how other actors, Kirk Douglas and other people, couldn't stand the guy. He was uh, just impulsive and wild and per potentially violent. He was just kind of crazy. And um, I don't know, if you look at his IMDb picture also, Tim Carey, it's one of the most interesting pictures I've seen. He, he looks it looks like a weird mugshot or something. I don't know. It's strange. He looks angry, but it's awesome. But there's something intriguing about this guy. I want to see more movies about this guy to see if he always played that type of character. But anyway, it's called Poor White Trash. It's not available on DVD anywhere that I could track down. It is available on uh, VHS. It's a continental big box. I actually have that. This is the actual cover art from that box. Um, we made, uh, made a DVD out of this and, and made a box out of it. But yeah, I enjoyed this movie. So anyway, track it down if you can find it. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about the theme song and leave some comments down below. It's called Poor White Trash. Watch it. Bye.